Adecker's Grounded got verified last week, and it also has a free-to-play weekend. So if you want to dive into this psychotic survival game that's dressed up as a cartoon-style garden warfare, then it's definitely a good time to dive in. So we thought we'd have a look at the best settings to run this on the Steam Deck, as it's a little bit more challenging than you would expect to run on the deck. First off, you're going to still see some huge dips no matter what settings you run, especially in some of the cutscenes, which are a lot more demanding than it would appear around the 30 to 40 frames per second mark. On medium to high settings, it does look good, but it cannot hold 60 frames per second. As you can see here, we're dipping around 40s to 60s quite regularly, especially if we get anywhere up into the environment where we can start seeing the house and stuff render. And if we drop these settings down to low, you'll see that it just looks absolutely hideous. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the rendering on the low settings, but it seems to remove all forms of anti-aliasing and the frames per second don't really gain a lot at all. This does have FSR and it does work quite well, but again, Adding FSR 2 on top of low quality is just an absolute eyesore, so I don't recommend it. High settings doesn't look a huge amount different from the medium, however it does have a huge impact on the frames per second. So our recommended settings for this one, so our recommended settings for this one is to actually set the medium quality and AMD FSR on ultra quality. Turn off the motion blur and chromatic abrasion, and then cap the Steam Deck at 40 frames per second. Apart from the few random cutscenes, now you will hold a glorious looking 40 frames per second, no matter what you're doing. Just avoid the infected bugs and anything that's bigger than you, and you should be able to survive more than 5 minutes. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving in to test this out on the Steam Deck during the free weekend, or whether you're going to swerve this survival horror. I'll leave you with a bit more gameplay here without me talking so you can get a better feel for the game and performance. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.